Hey guys, uh, if you know this channel a little bit, you know uh, about me, I like to sometimes review things that uh, maybe you find are helpful or can just be a resource for folks. Um, especially love to look at Bibles. I've done a couple Bible reviews on this channel. Um, you can go back and look and I'll probably throw in some links for them. Uh, just a, a Bible that I've used for a few years now, an ESV journaling Bible. And then earlier this last fall, um, my son received a, an NIV sort of Bible for uh, same type of thing, a journaling Bible. And we looked at that. And um, I just feel like going into a new year, into 2024, um, there's just some importance of just saying we need to get in the Word. We need to study the, the Word. We need to get into our hearts. We need to just have this mentality every day where we are um, just feeding on God's Word, on His truth. And that will really carry us through each day, through whatever we're facing, through whatever this, this year may hold. So um, I started out just kind of the very end of 2023 and into 2024 now, looking at a Bible that I've had on my shelf for a number of years. In fact, it's a Bible that I got when I was in college um, through a, an InterVarsity trip that I took at the end of, of one of my years of school in May. We went to a, a retreat, a camp, and it was in Colorado. And uh, one of the resources that they had available was this Word in Life study Bible that I picked up. And uh, my, my then girlfriend, my now wife, uh, we've had this Bible in our home for, for many years now. And it's a Bible that I've taken to church, I've looked at periodically. She's done a lot more in it than I have. And uh, to her credit, she said, this is a Bible that, as I went through, it really taught me God's Word, really helped me understand God's Word more than anything that I've used in my entire life. So looking at this year, I just I thought I've done kind of the journaling thing, the highlighting thing, the writing all kind of notes and, and doing that for a few years now. I'm ready to just um, maybe pivot and go towards something else that's just more um, just insights and, and context about the, 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 the characters and uh, the places that are mentioned, the names, all that, to just kind of refresh and, and go back into the Bible in, um, with a new set of eyes. Um, I've gone through Bible school, I've done all that, but you don't have to take classes, you don't have to have this degree to understand the Bible and, and know all this stuff. There's a lot of resources out there that are available, um, and a lot that we can learn by, by using some of these, these Bibles. So, I have uh, the Bible I'm going through this year. It's a heavy Bible, it's, it's thick. Um, it's called the Word in Life Study Bible. And uh, this is the New King James Version um, published by Nelson. I think this might be from the 90s, the um, copyright, yeah, 93, 96 by Thomas Nelson. I don't believe it is any longer in print. Um, I was looking on YouTube for other reviews or things about this, this particular Bible. Not a lot out there, so I thought I'd, I'd put something uh, together just to at least mention it. Um, be great if the folks at uh, Nelson, Thomas Nelson, would would uh, take a look at some of these videos and say, hey, we really love this Bible, would you bring it back? Um, I've found it on places like eBay and Amazon, and I'll try to find some links if I can. Um, I've, I've found it in thrift stores. I found it just places where I can kind of find, you know, things that are no longer published. But if you can find a Bible like this, and that might be just the other subtitle that I put to this video is get yourself a study Bible for 2024 if you're not really sure where to start, where to go. And that will give you some directions. So I have this one. Um, I also have this uh, other one that they published, which is the contemporary English version. I have the dust cover, the dust jacket for this one. Uh, the other one I showed you, which is the one I'm reading, um, the, the cover's not as in great condition, so I kind of want to take care of it this year, um, be gentle with it. This one I'm not reading, but this is the same Bible, same tools, just a different translation. And I think we picked this up a little down the line after getting this uh, first one in um, 2001. I have a, a note in here that this was from 2001 when we, when we bought it. Um, so, study Bibles. And I've got one more that... Uh, 
is in our house that is a great one in NIV study Bible. This is just your basic, um, I'm not even sure, I think this one's still in print, but it's probably looks different now, has a, has a different cover and stuff, but this one is great as far as um, you have each page, you have introductions to um, chapters like that, and you have great footnotes and study notes um, on each on each particular chapter. Not as thick uh, uh, and, and, you know, it won't take as much time to go through a Bible like this. I'm planning the Bible that I'm in right now, this Word and Life study, to take a couple of years. I'm hoping that I can try to figure out about halfway where that is. I think it's about in Isaiah to at least get that far this year. And I've been kind of going through. But I just wanted to show you guys this a little bit. Um, have something else on YouTube at least to kind of um, refresh and dust this this particular version off just to say, hey, uh, if you can find this, it's a great resource. So let's take a look inside here real quick. Okay, um, I'm just taking my camera, uh, not my iPhone, but my actual camera and using this for uh, the video and hopefully you can, you can see this well. And then um, I've got my my microphone there just trying to get some audio off of this so trying to pick up as much as we can hopefully this comes through this is the front cover again this is pretty a pretty thick bible um, probably a good two and a half inches there and um, as you open it up you've got about 2,000 well, 2,300 or 2,400 pages of, uh, of actual uh, content there and then some indices in the back and stuff like that um, what I want to just kind of show and I know this is kind of a, um, a real quick glance but you have things like this which I love which um, you introduce a new character like this is talking about Jehoshaphat that's a king um, actually that is yeah king of Judah sorry there King of Judah, uh, during part of his reign, he shared the throne with his father Asa. So they give you all this context about certain individual characters. And I, I tell you guys, every page has some kind of notes on it like this. Something like a sidebar or an article, a column, something to read. So really, when you read a chapter, you're also diving in and reading you know, another page or two of, of just content like that. Um, here we have... Mac Micaiah, um, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but this is like First Kings here. But you have a book that starts. You've got like the book of Ruth here. Um, it's got all kinds of context. It's got cast of characters. So here's a important people that you're going to see. The plot summary, um, the the setting. Yeah, this is going from Judges into Ruth. So you've got the author and setting. You've got another one of these things about Ruth. You've got tons of maps uh, throughout all of this, which I love because it kind of tells me like where am I when we're talking about like uh, in the book of Ruth, um, her going from, uh, oh man, I'm going to botch that. I don't, yeah, Moab, Moabites. Um, and then coming back to Israel. Um, so all this, this is all this introduction here. Again, personality profile Naomi. That would be relevant to the story for sure. Ruth is just like four chapters or something like that, right? But the the content they give to this, it probably comes out to being like eight or ten pages of of stuff because you've got uh, a family line of Boaz and Ruth. They want to show you, you know, how this connects to especially David, which we then know is all the way through to Jesus. Um, just cool stuff like that, which really gives you background. And guys, I'm not saying, like, I know this is a Bible that um, is, is going to be a hard one to find out there and certainly can try to help you look for it if you in particular want to find this one. It's not crazy expensive if you do find it. I think there's some copies out there anywhere from like $30 to $50. Um, of course, some shipping and stuff then, but you can really go like on eBay, um, some copies on Amazon. I did see this one here. Um, I'll post the link. This one was on Amazon, uh, which is just a different version, contemporary English. 
I think that might be a little bit more readable than the King, the New King James, maybe a little bit more of a similar NIV style version um, in translation. But just to kind of set the stage for your 2024, for your, for your new year, maybe you have a reading plan, that's great. Um, I hope to go through the entire Bible in a year, um, one of these years coming up. I think this, like I said, it's going to take me a couple of years, so I won't make it this year. But um, it just gives you so much depth. And, you know, take it for what you will. Maybe, maybe you just glance at things that, are, that pique your curiosity. Maybe you, you literally read this cover to cover and you take in everything, every extra footnote, uh, what have you. But to find something that helps you just learn God's word this year. And, and guys, that's really um, just the, the, the meat of what I wanted to say. Not a, a, a super thorough review, but something to just kind of give you some insights to what's out there. Maybe you're a brand new Christian and you're just like, where do I start with God's word? Um, finding a study Bible is a great help. Finding uh, perhaps a passage or a chapter, um, a book like John is a great place to start. If you want to go all the way back to Genesis, um, there's lots of good stuff there and the, and the storyline can really captivate you and kind of keep you going. When you start getting into some of those other early books, there can be some slow going. So having a study Bible along with what you're reading can help you understand and, uh, and kind of get through some of those tougher chapters, especially when it gets into the law and and certain things that are, they're, they're heavy subjects, but they're important. Um, and then as you come into the rest of the Old Testament, the Kings, the Prophets, um, Psalms, Proverbs, those wisdom books are, are some of my favorite. And of course the Gospels, there's just tons of great stuff in there in the New Testament. Um, yeah, I just, I really want to encourage people uh, through a Bible like this, through um, this other one, which is uh, a great companion as well and then this uh, NIV study bible which if you can find that I'll post links for all these just to kind of um, throw some some stuff up there for you to look and then you can go on Amazon or somewhere else and, and just kind of go further and maybe there's something as you're browsing online um, christianbookdistributors.com places like that you'll find something Sometimes it's hard because we don't have like the Christian bookstores anymore. We just have places like Barnes and Noble that you can go into if you have access to one. Um, there's not a lot of places where you can pick up a Bible and kind of thumb through it and look. Maybe maybe a library, um, but it's kind of th through things like this, like on YouTube, where somebody physically picks up something and gives you a kind of a review and a condensed. Here's what this is. Um, I, th I think we're doing more of that anyway as we're researching and looking at things and where we want to spend our money. But I pray that your, your year is blessed, uh, whether you're watching this in January, February, the beginning of the year, or some other time of the year. It is always a great time to get into God's Word. It's always a great time to start studying. If you have more questions about that, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me or follow up, leave a message, comment, whatever on this video. And I pray that your day is blessed. Thank you so much for watching.